Hello everyone, this is Vikas speaking. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about the HTML and this is just an introductory lecture about the HTML. In this lecture, we are going to discuss all the brief sections about HTML, how it works, what, what are their elements, what are their tags and everything in a, in a short description. So let's move forward. So as I told you, this is just an introductory part and uh, as the lectures moves on, we will be coming to understand about HTML each and every corner and you can easily develop a website. So first of all, we should know about what is HTML. As you must have heard, uh, as you must have read in your so HTML is a hypertext markup language. This language is basically helps to create a web page. The HTML is used for adding the elements into a web page and the structure of the web page, uh, like uh, the headings, uh, the paragraph, uh, the title, and what we see the website that are basically written into an HTML language. So the all the contents so um, all the contents that are added into the HTML are are all are all done with the HTML languages. So this is uh, so now now uh, we see this is a simple HTML document like uh, HTML document. Uh, doc type element uh, html head title body paragraph h1 tag these all are the tags basically and this helps to bring an element to on the web page these tags are uh, are generally used to for the html because each and every elements that bring and that we bring on the web page are uh, are, bro are brought through these tags only so in uh, 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 so in this lecture we are just going to dis uh, we are just going uh, uh, to discuss a short descriptions about all these tags but in the future in the future coming lectures uh, we will be discussing all the tags separately and uh, uh, and learning in depth so that uh, you could uh, you so that you can learn web development properly so let's uh, move on to the example that is explained right here you, as you can see doc type html uh, this is basically a tag that represents that HTML documents are written into HTML file, HTML5, sorry, HTML5. Uh, this is just an, a declaration. Okay, now next HTML tag. This is a basic, a primary, primary tag uh, that each and every tags that we write for uh, web development for a web page development are written under this main tag that is html tag and head tag that contains a meta information uh, about any html uh, html page uh, title tag is uh, is used to represent the title of any web page like uh, you, you might have seen in the browsers like heading uh, the title the title of the page is uh, given through this tag now body body is what so whatever the elements like image like paragraph headings whatever the things uh, we add on a web page which is displayed through browser is uh, is comes under the body tag now h1 tag is a uh, h1 tag there are uh, basically six different kinds of uh, heading tags are there h1 h2 s3 h4 h5 and h6 and uh, they everyone having their own priority accordingly now moves to para uh, p tag that is paragraph tag the whatever the pra paragraph we add on the html page is through p tags only so now 
we are going to discuss the html elements basically so we know we know each html elements uh, are written under this angle bracket as you can see angle bracket uh, uh, then tag name content goes here uh, then uh, close tag name so these uh, the in this this is the formatting uh, this is the format of writing uh, html elements so what is uh, what is that uh, whatever the elements is written uh, on uh, whatever the elements is written to bring whatever the tag sorry uh, whatever the tags is written to bring the element on the html are just through angle tags uh, and uh, in the middle there the, there is a content and uh, and at the last tag ends with the forward slash like h1 tag p tag h1 tag and then after there is a content and at the last h1 uh, forward slash h1 is a ending tag in the same manner p tag then after content and uh, uh, ending of p tag like there are the few tags like h1 tag p tag and br tag the h1 tag which contains some headings uh, which uh, which contain heading p tags my first paragraph and all these are kind of this is th these are just an example for the content uh, we, which are written in the middle of paragraph tag right and uh, like uh, br tag br tag is basically a tag without ending tag or, or without element this is also this is an empty tag which doesn't contain any element this this tag is used to break the line basically so here is some note like uh, like some elements uh, like some html elements have no content like br element and these elements are called empty element and empty element do not have an in tag so as i told you like br tag is an empty tag and it doesn't con contain any content in the middle and it doesn't have an empty tag as well so now we are going to discuss the web browsers as uh, you must be familiar with the web browsers whatever the uh, whatever the net we serve is just through web browsers like chrome internet explorer mozilla firefox and uh, and so on actually the um, what's the main role of a web browser it uh, it uh, the web browser is uh, is for to read the html documents and display them and display them on your display on your screen actually what happens browser br uh, uh, browser are designed in a such a manner that they can read only an html uh, that, uh, that that they can read only html language and uh, they doesn't uh, de uh, they displays the document as it is given so li uh, like the small picture you might be seeing uh, in the right corner under uh, under the web browser section so like my uh, th th this is a small cut piece of a browser how it looks now html page structure is what uh, like this is just an this is just an a structure of writing an html coding uh, like you might be watching html is uh, as i told you is a primary tag and under that tag all the head body comes under and under head the main meta information uh, are there like title tag and uh, and much more scripts which is added under the head tag under the body tag uh, paragraph heading image tag all the tags comes under the body tag now there is a small note 
only the content inside the body section will be displayed in the browser so as uh, whatever the dis whatever the things that is displayed on the browser uh, is written is uh, is is under the body is under the body tag everything what we see on the web page so now we are going to discuss a very uh, very small discussion on the history uh, of html so html was uh, in the starting uh, it was uh, developed by bernard lee that www means www worldwide web as uh, we know the banners lee invented in 1991 and uh, then uh, the progress goes on in 1993 dave regets drafted html plus uh, in 1995 html working group defined html 2.0 in 1997 w3c recommended html 3.2 w3c in 1999 uh recommendation html 4.1 w3c basically what is w3c w3c is an organization it's uh, a world wide web uh, comorandum so you you can uh, you can go you can visit on the net and search about w3c if you if you wanted to know about them so, so then that's not needed because this is just and uh, data and uh, inf- informative part in 2000 n what w z w h a t w z html5 first public the draft then in uh, in uh, 2012 w a t what w z what veg means it's uh, HTML5 living a standard in 2014 W3C recommendation HTML5 in uh, 2016 W3C candidate recommendation HTML5.1 in 2017 W3C recommendation HTML5.1 second edition and in 2017 uh, recommendation W3C recommended basically HTML5.2 so thanks for watching uh, this lecture and uh, i hope you enjoyed my lecture for, uh, in the coming lectures i will be discussing uh, further so thank you if you are new do subscribe my channel good luck